it's so good to have you all back in my channel welcome back to one coffee dude today i am going to continue the tours around the specialty coffee shop culture and scene in boquete if you've been following along in the last chapter we visited three coffee shops one of them is in a coffee processing plant the other two are or were in farm if you haven't checked it out i'm gonna leave the link down in the description or i'm gonna try to leave it up here now today we're going to be also visiting a couple more of coffee shops especially coffee shops and we're going to be tasting their espresso and as i said their sexiest filter coffee if you don't know what the sexiest filter coffee for me is the one that is more complex or more special or more out of the ordinary so to speak so and i will be also today sharing with you what we feel in the sensorial aspect of it um, we're going to be trying to communicate it with all of you. Not all coffee shops are built the same. That's why I'm making an emphasis on specialty coffee shops. Uh, in Coffee Town, in a place where coffee grows and with the most expensive coffee in the world so being so famous, you may imagine or you can imagine that there are several coffee shops or several restaurants that serve coffee but I am talking about the ones that are focused on the specialty coffee itself I truly believe that when you care when you love what you do you will take some time to make it right not just to pull a shot of espresso or just to pour that coffee to that customer but to actually develop a recipe or to actually taste and calibrate uh, the flavors you are offering to the people you're serving so that's what I'm focusing mostly on so bear with me for a while my friends here we are we have their espresso and also their sexiest filter coffee and I'm going to switch the dynamics a little bit around so I'm going to taste we're going to taste first uh, the filter coffee uh, it's a geisha natural anaerobic process mm. smells very sweet some wild fruits some like wild berries um, definitely come across like blueberries mm -hmm. and um, let's see let's see what my wife thinks and what we all think of this fine geisha from the Altieri family all right my love to the first coffee of the day cheers <laughs> all right all right all right how do you like it the Para mí la es media. some medium acidity mm -hmm. what else it's delicate. El café. It's delicate. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Me olía más a frutos mm -hmm. que lo que sabe. Mm -hmm. It smelled more. She's saying that it smelled more like the wild fruits or the red fruits than mm -hmm. the flavor, mm -hmm. the actual flavor that comes out of it. I would say kind of citrus, uh, sort of like um, half ripe or unripe uh, tangerine. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so this nice and beautiful first coffee of the day. What do you think? Cuatro. She's saying a four, okay, we have a four. Yeah, because of the aroma and because it has that citrus uh, note in it, it's a combination of red fruits, wild fruits, the blueberries, and then the um, half-ripe tangerine um, kind of profile. 
I would definitely also have to rate it a 4, 4.2. So we are in agreement <laughs> in this one. We're finally on an agreement. Cheers. Finally, an agreement. Ta-da! <laughs> so let's see how this one tastes. How about the body? Is it's cremoso. It, yeah, very or medium? Medium, or también, light. medium. Yeah, medium. Mm -hmm. I would say medium high or like in between medium, but not super heavy. Not super mm -hmm. heavy. Uh, the acidity is something I said it before and I will say it again, something I appreciate. And remember, acidity is not a crime. The aftertaste is not so long. I happen to know that this coffee uh, actually is a typica wash. This one has, for me, and mm -hmm. uh, this one has approximately 4.3 out of 5. 4.3 out of 5. No, bueno, 4.2. Uh, so it's a solid mm -hmm. 4.2 out of 5. The girls also did a good job. Yeah, we had a, a lot of girls running the, the coffee shop today too. Uh, a lot of them, you know, doing the pour overs and handling the orders. Uh, and they did a fantastic job considering all the people that was here uh, for the holidays. So I'll see you guys on our next spot. Very good. We are at our spot number two for the day. This is uh, Kotowa. Uh, they actually have several coffee shops around town, but this is a special project that dedicates more to the specialty coffee um, part and also to the um, uh, wine too. They also serve wine in this place. Um, this is a blend of several varieties several um, traditional varieties, Katuari, Katura, Tipica, Criollo, uh, Bourbon, um, that's what the guy explained, uh, and it's washed. And also, um, it seems, mm -hmm. okay, all right, all right, let's see, let's see what my wife thinks. I have my opinion already in my head. Total. Roasty. A little bit ashy. Um, <laughs> a little bit woody, I would say too, like burnt sí, wood. Or chocolate, también oscuro. O Maybe. Canela. Es cosas marrones. Yeah, there's spices in there, definitely. Mm -hmm. It's not too long of an aftertaste, though. In spite of all of those strong um, uh, flavors. And I'm going to say that this espresso definitely has a two out of five for me. Two points out of five because of the balance in its own spectrum. Uh, but there's also a short aftertaste there, uh, and but a lingering, um, pleasant mouthfeel uh, there. What do you think? 2.8. 2.8. She's being generous, and she's uh, saying 2.8. She's very politically correct. Yeah, espresso is supposed to be intense. Espresso is supposed to be... She, she would actually um, really prefer this type of cup in the morning, early in the morning. I don't know if I would, but um, let's see what you guys uh, think if you have this type of uh, profiles every now and then. With our second um, evaluation item, we have this is a Pacamara natural, according to David, the guy that was pulling our shots and uh, making our coffee. I feel like I have to bring my pinky um, up to drink this, to taste it. So let's see. She feels it's watery. Yeah, right on. I love you. I feel, uh, what are you gonna do later? So it feels, it does feel, it, it feels fruity. It has some like um, raw honey. Unfortunately, this is going to be my, uh, my, um, second lowest score uh, when it comes to um, the scoring so I am going to give this one I'm gonna say it three out of five for me this is a three out of five uh, because it does feel natural 
it feels sweet, but it feels like the recipe didn't really help. 2.8. So she's punishing uh, this one right now. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we have in our next uh, stop. This is our last spot for the day. Um, I meant to visit other places and leave this one for last because this one also has a special place in our hearts. Um, a couple of years ago, we dreamt of having a coffee shop, a specialty coffee shop, independent, completely independent, uh, that felt cozy, that felt uh, where people felt like they belong and that they could learn anything and everything about this uh, wonderful bean. Um, so, as you can see, we have several elements in the coffee shop, not just the wood, not just the ambience, but also uh, information, education um, items that prevail um, or that, that help people get in contact or ask themselves questions about what is this? Why is this so good and so different, you know? Forgive me if my voice breaks down a little bit. <laughs> I kind of feel the, a lot of emotions coming through right now um, because uh, this is this is our baby. So, um, but let's be objective. Let's be 100% objective here, and let's go uh, to do what we came to do. All right. So I'll see you very soon. So Manuel, um, you are one of the last guys uh, that um, actually shared with me behind the bar. So uh, let's say hi, um, hi to Manuel. Friends. He's a coffee enthusiast, so let's see what he has to say about this espresso that they just uh, brought uh, for us. Uh, so friends, uh, this is a Catoy variety and it has a wash process. It is roast at medium, uh, so here we are gonna like taste flavors and we are gonna like uh, also encounter aromas like citrus, like sugar cane, caramelized sugars and it's a traditional variety but we can pull a very good espresso out of it. Alright, so tell us something, you're not actually the Grinch. No, or you are. Uh, sometimes I am. Yeah, he's the Grinch. Jonathan is saying he's the Grinch. Yeah. He's saying he's the Grinch. They're saying you're the Grinch. Uh, what happens? Well, <laughs> what is happening here? What's going on? I don't know. I just like like <laughs> coffee, like perfectly brew, and I mean, when yeah. I don't have it, it's like I I get like the Grinch mode. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Let's taste this. Okay. So he mentioned citrus, he mentioned uh, sugar cane um, and caramelized in caramel. Um, that's for what I can remember. For a cutaway wash. Um, all right, so I'll have my wife taste it and see what she thinks too. Woo! Uh -huh, heavy, it was heavy uh -huh. in the body. Uh -huh. A little bit bitter. Uh -huh. And no not so much acidity. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So it is. Um, so if you have a lot of body, and you don't have a lot of acidity, maybe due to the roast. He mentioned it's a medium roast, uh, but it can be in the darker side of the medium. 
so probably it is um, actually very well calibrated the espresso machine is well calibrated I agree with you I do not I do not feel that heavy of a body but I feel uh, a lower acidity mm -hmm. um, that bitterness that is natural to the espresso um, I would say it's a balanced cup it is a long aftertaste though uh, it feels a little bit longer than the ones we've tasted before uh, like right now I'm talking about this a few seconds later tasting it and I still can feel it all over my tongue and my inner um, the inner walls of my uh, mouth um, so I definitely would say it is a balanced cup it, it, it comes from a high elevation farm um, he did not mention where it was coming from Manuel de que finca es este de Garrido they, uh, oh, this is coming from, yeah, of course, this is coming from Garrido. Um, a big shout out to Jose David if he's watching. Yeah, um, how many four. He would, she's saying four, and yeah, I agree with her. Uh, the first one felt a little bit more complex. Um, you do feel the sugar cane, you do feel the caramel, uh, and you also feel the citrus, but it's not very well defined. Uh, and it's not very bright. Um, so according to my preferences and our preferences, um, this uh, definitely deserves a four out of five, which is um, pretty good um, in my opinion. Let's see what they have for filter coffee. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, um, okay, um, guys, this is the final test. Um, we asked the guys for their sexiest coffee. So Jonathan uh, mentioned that his favorite coffee is this um, SL28. So this one uh, is a natural process as well. Uh, very, very delicate bean, uh, but he says it's his favorite. Here it is, the final test. Cheers. Let's see. Yeah, be honest. She's saying it's watery. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's more. It's instead of aguado, instead of the uh, watery, uh, uh, like the pacamara that we had before. And um, this is actually delicate. This is. It's a different. There's a difference. You know. There's there's a delicate, like yellow fruit um, for this one. Uh, there's a little bit of a woodiness to it, but it's not in a bad way. It's like sweet wood. Um, but it's um, that's the bitterness that, that I'm feeling. Um, it's definitely properly roasted. It's definitely properly brewed. Um, the SL28 is an exotic and delicate variety. So I think this one um, is very good. I wouldn't call it sexy though. No, <laughs> she's say, she's saying no. She's saying no. That doesn't it doesn't feel uh, that sexy. And this is this is not definitely not due to um, a lack of the you know sourcing and the managing of the coffee shop itself I have to make that clear uh, sometimes there's just not coffee available uh, sometimes you're talking to producers and they run out of coffee or there's there's not enough a lot of international buyers snatch uh, what they have and uh, the producers have and the smaller guys the local coffee shops are end up with uh, n nothing on that level of sexiness how many points you you score it i'm gonna stay shot i'm gonna she's saying it's the day of fours <laughs> i'm gonna give it though a 3.8 um, I'm going to be a little bit more specific about this one um, because I've had SL28 before and I know what it can be um, but again it's not up to the coffee shop itself or the brewer it seems like it was properly brewed it's just a matter of the you know the harvest the farm um, what is available at that time what, what you can find so guys um, with my heart in your hands in a very special place uh, right after Christmas um, almost with tears in my eyes, um, I have to say, um, that I'm wishing everyone, all and every one of you, uh, a merry, merry, merry Christmas and a very happy new year uh, because I'm gonna see you the first week of January next time 
with the next coffee shops we're gonna be visiting. Uh, this doesn't stop here, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for your support.